Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. And let me see what spring is like. That was a fucking terrible clap. How many error verses per year? I would say... I, honestly to God, do not know. I'm going with 500,000. I go with like... 30,000. 50 something thousand? Close to a million, probably. More. You know, Kalai's doing two on one way, but that's, that's being greedy. <laughs> For me, air verses were just kind of getting stale a little bit, you know. I felt like every kid and his dog could do an air verse, and uh, and um, yeah, you know, the kids couldn't even do a cutback, but they were doing air verses, you know, kind of sprinting before they could walk. These days, you know, you, you have so many different types of grabs and everything, so it's it's. I mean, every week there's some new kid doing some crazy air, and they can't even do a turn, so. I get it, you know, you want to, you want to, you want to see it all. Well, you see it, like, the, there's, you know, there's guys who can surf these days that, that can't even, they, they don't know how to throw a proper carve in or, you know, or flow with a wave. The only thing they know how to do is fly down the line and do a spinner. Everyone kill it. Everybody's doing this. Yeah, my fault. Um, John John's fault. Taji's fault. Colo, everyone's fault. What do you think made us fall in love with the Aeroverse initially? What was so cool about it? It just looks so fun, like, as watching the videos and seeing guys like Taj and all those guys doing Aeroverse, like, it just looks like such a fun thing to do, to race down the line, hit an end section, and spin around. So, I just think the fun factor of an Aeroverse Pretty much now, the only way to get an air reverse on film is if it's like a full rotation. Doing it off a section where you'd normally be kicking off because it looks too dumpy and you just try and huck yourself out to the flats and do your full rotation, twist your shoulders, keep turning. <laughs> I feel like with that air reverse, you know, to keep it cool, you just gotta go higher and do different grabs. It's just boring as bad shit really, like near reverse to me these these days. Unless it's something just astronomical, because almost everyone can do it now. Shooting a video, I, I'd prefer to see just a little mix of moves and even just some weird Dane Reynolds rock and roll for foam climb floater or something like that. I kind of get more excitement out of that. Just something different. Like, it's starting to get so overdone, but in saying that, it's taking it to a new level where everyone's trying to go bigger and better. Like, like a, like a full rotation or like to the flats or something like that. So I guess it's kind of raising the bar in a way. I think the, the best kind of airs these days are the ones you don't, you don't have any idea what type of air they're gonna do. Instead of running the middle all the way and then do it, it's off the bottom, big long bottom turn, up in the lip and whatever it is, it's, it's, it's great if it has a bottom turn to it. When sections are super gnarly and you got no chance of doing an air reverse, you can you can do like a, a four rotation alley-oop and keep going down the line and kind of not risk snapping your leg. Definitely don't get stuck on a single grab, you know, go out and do the, you can do the air reverse like five times in one session, mix it up and yeah, try and go bigger. Just more tweaked and tail high and, and grabs is when you'll start to get an air reverse that is worth holding on to. You know, progression is just, it's, you know, it's happening quickly. 
they want to see combinations of maneuvers like they want to see it everything which is great they want to see rail surfing and they all they want to if you can do an air and it's the right type of air you know straight off they will always want to see bottom turn into the lift and above the lift fly me to the moon let me play among the stars and let me see what spring is like on a jupiter and my